Hi guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial on Create Studio. Today we'll be looking at presets, templates, character animator and text to speech. They're all small topics so I wanted to finish everything in one. Let's get started. Let me create a new project. Let's call it as intro reset a preset is more like a predefined project or a video that you want to regularly use more frequently use so it could be like an intro where you want all your video to to start in a certain fashion or an outro or it could be as simple as a logo animation so anything that you want to reuse multiple times uh, you can make it into a preset. Let me create a quick example um, to show you. So in this example, let's say I want to use a character uh, animator. Let me pick a teacher. The idea is I want the teacher to walk into the scene and maybe wave that would be my animation my intro so every time i create a new video i want this character to walk in and wave to the audience okay so let's see how to animate first thing i did was i picked up the character i dragged into the scene and every character you bring it has two options one is the animation or the action they can perform so you can pick one of those three existing one and if you want to add you can add more action so that the scene starts building up and depending on what character you use some of those actions are common some of those are some of these actions are very specific to the type of the character like in this case the teacher has some characteristics but when i drag and drop a doctor the doctor has a different set of characteristics right so based on your project, you pick which character you want and then animate accordingly. So in this example, the first thing I want this teacher or this character is to walk. So what I would do is select the character on the left side. If you see right now, it says ideal. Instead of ideal, I want the person to walk. So let me scroll down and pick walking. Okay, so let's play the video. Okay, so the person walks, I think about eight steps or so. Now I want to animate this walk. So all we have to do is go to the animations in the custom side and select position because we want to change the position from off screen to the end of the screen. So I select, I go to the beginning of my animation, move the character all the way of the screen, come to the end of the animation and I want the character to come maybe somewhere there. Right? Let me change the duration of the walk so that the character walks slowly or throughout the duration. So let's play. there now if you notice the character initially slides and then it's walking that's because my easy options is power to so let me change that to linear now when I play the walk is more smooth and consistent there so this is my scene and this scene I want to use this in all my projects for example so what I could do is save this as a preset so that i don't have to rebuild this particular scene i can just use the preset okay one more thing i want to do to this scene is i want to add a sound so what i do is i go to the media library and if you go to the audio we have a whole bunch of audio i think sound effects there so footsteps high heels so i want to pick this one let me 
import go back I have the footsteps so I will align it with my character and reduce the length so now when I play you can see there so I have my scene ready and I want to make this as a preset so all I do is go to the advanced options on it go to the settings of the project in advanced you can see it's it asks whether it's a preset or not to say yes it is a preset and then save it so now the pro this particular project the entire project has been saved as a preset so and whenever i want to use that particular preset all i do is go back to my project and if you see there is a select preset option all I have to do is pick the preset that I want to use in this case I named it as intro when I click on that you see that entire animation comes in here let me quickly delete that one important uh, piece I wanted to let you know is any changes that you make to this particular video the moment you save that will be saved as a preset so if you really want those changes then make it if not just save it and start another project because any change you do will become part of the preset so you should be really careful on what you want to add or remove or make those changes right even if you go to the properties in advance and let's say if you change it back to no and then make a change the changes still is saved as a preset so make sure when you're creating a preset you know exactly what you want and only that piece should be within that particular preset project so let me save and let me exit okay now let's take another example I'm creating a new project here let's say performances for simple example okay so in this project i want my video to start with the character animator walking then i want to start building after the character comes into the scene the first thing i do is select the preset now you can see my animator is done so what i want to do next is once the person comes into the scene next i want to have do is add an action so click on the action this time i want the character to let's say wave using both hands so now you can see we have the character coming and then wave now i want to have i want an audio where the character is in introducing herself and the performance and then probably it is requesting the first team to perform on the stage just an example okay so either i can give my own voice record and then use it here but in this case i just want to use the text to speech feature so let me go to the text to speech click on this button and type your message right so let's say it could be So you type your message, then you pick your character. So I think I said Sally. So let me pick Sally. Uh, you can you have a whole bunch of different languages that you could use. In my case, I'm just using English US, but you you are more than welcome to use the other languages as applicable. Also notice when you want to give a pause, you have this keyword called pause. 
so we can say pause equals one which means it's going to give me a one second pause and i am pretty sure it's case sensitive so if you type pause in lowercase it might not work so make sure it's exactly like this right and let's generate you can preview by clicking on the preview button hello everyone welcome to the show i am your host sally please welcome tima on the stage my bad i picked the wrong i think it got reset when i went back to the language let me pick sally and after team a i want a little pause so you can put one of those punctuation marks Generate. hello everyone welcome to the show i am your host sally please welcome tima on the stage Let me give one pause here. Generate. Hello everyone. Welcome to the show. I am your host Sally. Please welcome Tima on the stage. Sounds good. If I want, I can give one more pause. I can copy and paste. It allows us to do that, which is good. And if you think your character is speaking too fast, you can let me change the speed increase or decrease so right now it was one so let me change it to point let's say seven five every time you make a change you have to generate so that the updated audio file is created hello everyone welcome to the show i am your host sally Please welcome Tima on the stage. Too bad. So let me change it back to probably 95. Generate. Hello everyone. Welcome to the show. I am your host Sally. Please welcome Tima on the stage. So when you like what you hear, import the audio to the library go back and you should have your audio i strongly recommend renaming it by double clicking it so that way it's easy for you to know which audio belongs to what so i want this audio to start when she starts waving so i take my pointer my seek bar to that location or that particular point drag my audio drop it onto the canvas my audio appears there so if you see hello everyone welcome to the show i am your host sally please welcome tima on the stage okay there but in this case if you see the waving has stopped here and if I try to drag, I cannot drag, I cannot increase it. So what we would do here is select the character, add another action. It could be same action as the previous one, waving with both hands, or you can change the action. So let's say I want to select pointing. Okay, so. Come to the show. I am your host, Sally. Please welcome Tima on the stage. Doesn't look good, so I can go back to the pointing and now instead of pointing, let's say I change it back to waving with both hands. Then add another action which would be pointing. So let's play. Hello everyone. Welcome to the show. I am your host Sally. Please welcome Tima on the stage. There. Perfect. So let me resize the last piece so it fits it, the end of my audio. Now let's say the team A comes and they perform. So in our example, let, let me just pick some video. Right. 
let's say this is my team A, it's still downloading. Team A comes, they perform. On the stage. So, so let's say their performance is done and now I want this character to come and introduce Team B. So either I can bring everything duplicate it and paste it here or I can just select the preset depending on your requirement your style you can choose what you want to do in this example I'll just duplicate it so I go to my character animator if you can right click and duplicate bring the whole set here and now after the scene one is done entire scene duplicates and now you can change the audio uh, that matches to the second scene so in this case while walking in I want to have let's say the footsteps so I duplicate you have the footsteps there but here I want her to say something else so I go back to my speech something generate import I want to rename this to TV drag and drop and we want that somewhere here so when I play let the video that was excellent performance by team A. Now let us welcome team B to the stage. My bad. This is after the audio. Okay. So she comes back. That was excellent performance by team A. Now let us welcome team B to the stage. So in this case, since I only I have a very short audio, I don't need this waving twice. I can delete them. Now if you play. That was excellent performance by Team A. Now let us welcome Team B to the stage. There. So, um, I trim it so it fits my audio. Now you can bring Team B's performance. So let's, let's say this is Team B's performance imported. I drag Team B and stop there. So, this way you can start building your scene, and maybe at the end you can have the same character walk in and say thank you very much for you know, attending the performance, etc., and finish off with the finished line. Just wanted to give you this overview. Now what I do is let me save this project and exit. Yeah, it is okay. Here it is. So I named it as performances. Intro is just the completely. A, it's a intro preset. That's different. So what I can do is let's say I do this kind of performances multiple times. I do this kind of events. So instead of recreating. The entire video again I can make a copy right I will rename this as performance June 2020 I can have this as performance July 2020 so this way what happens is next month when I have the performances video 
I don't have it to recreate the entire project I just make a duplicate copy of that which, which I'm calling it as a template and open the project then all I have to do is just replace some of the text or audio or the videos So that's that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys to show you uh, how we can create a preset that we can reuse in multiple projects. How can you save a project as a template and then use the template to start building similar projects so that, that way you don't have to rebuild the entire scene again and again. Third one was quickly wanted to show you the text to speech feature. Thank you for watching and I will catch up with you in my next tutorial. Bye.